They didn't want 1,260 square metres of 465 monument mat standing seam roofing looking like King roof. Kong had gone to town. So they've laid one roof and it looks like a hailstorm's been through. It looks like King Kong's jumped up on the roof and he's jumped all over it. G'day Cladiators, I'm Kenny from My Cladders and today I'm going to tell you a little story about a house that is up for sale that is going to be, it will be, I have faith in it, it's going to be Brisbane's most expensive home. It's on the market for 20 million and if it goes for 20.5, ding, it hits the mark and becomes Brisbane's most expensive home. Now, it may not have ended up that way. It might not have. So stick with us here. I'm going to tell you a little background story about this house here in Chandler, 598 London Road, and where you'll be able to just learn a bit about why it's so important. If you don't, if you skimp on this and skimp on that, you might not end up with what you expected. I can tell you, I can guarantee you that 598 London Road, certainly, if we hadn't have been involved, would not have been Brisbane's most expensive house. If you're enjoying what we put out there, chuck in that button, the subscribe, the subscribe button, hit that button, and then you get updated with a bunch of new stuff. You know the drill, you know how YouTube works, you know how all these other things, if you're on Facebook or on LinkedIn, just like it, and join our page, do whatever you need to do because whatever you're doing with that helps us reach more people and that means a lot to us with the new business coming out, constructing art. Be excited about that because it's on its way. So 598 London Road was never ever going to be just an ordinary build. It was always gonna be something substantial. So I got a phone call one day from the owner saying, hey, uh, can you guys help us out? Because the people that were going to be doing the work, they quoted us on it, but they just won't answer the phone, they won't come out, they, they meant to come for a site visit and now we're ready to build. Now we're ready to put the cladding and the roofing on and they just won't do it, can you help? So we did. The garage was done in a 340 standing seam that we had come up from Adelaide, special product that looks really, really good and it served the purpose on the garage. So that's what they were gonna be living in while building the main house. Once it was built, they loved it, it was amazing. We've got heaps of people contacting my cladders saying, hey, can you build us a shed like that? Blah, 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 it looked fantastic. Then it came, they always had this dream to build this New Zealand, South Island kind of style chalet that was with stone and timber and had the standing seam black roof. They always wanted that and we worked with them from a very early stage when they brought us the first lot of plans and second lot of plans and they changed it all up. We worked with them from day dot and but there was a problem. The problem was that we were $30,000 more expensive. $30,000 more expensive than the other roofer. And they just couldn't justify it. Uh, until one day I got a phone call saying, you don't want to tell me I told you so, but you can tell me, you, you told me so. I said, what's going on? I said, they've laid one roof and it looks like a hailstorm's been through. It looks like King Kong's jumped up on the roof and he's jumped all over it, and now it looks horrific. H horrific, looks terrible. So can you come out and help? I'm kicking them off site. They're gone, we want my cladders to come in. Can you help? And I said, well, I'll, I'll certainly we can, and that's what we're gonna do. However, we trialed to make sure that it would not oil can, because the end result for the customer is they didn't want 1,260 square meters of 465 monument mat standing seam roofing on their roof looking like King Kong had gone to town. Once we'd gone through all the processes and the systems uh, and we'd trial and errored different methods on how to achieve an oil can free result, we went with to the client and said, yes, we can do it. This is the new price. And they were like, right, yes, whatever the price needs to be, that, that's it. And they're like, how soon can you do it? I said, well, we're booked out but this is not something you can rush at. If you're wanting the, to achieve the result you want, you can't rush the roof. It will be the speed that it will be. 
So that being said, we started on the project. We had some designs that we put into action and then we had to go through and design new types of valleys, new types of ridge caps, new types of barges to work on the structure that was there to achieve the result that the client expected. Now they didn't tell us how to do any of it. We just went in and we designed exactly how we knew we could deliver it to the highest level. While working on the project at London Road, we had lots of, we laid a roof and we had to pull that roof off again. And then we'd lay it again and it would be right. We had to come up with new ways to achieve the result so that it wouldn't oil can. Using the systems that we've put in place, the systems that MyCloud uses to eliminate oil canning and we were able to do that. It was really, really difficult. However, we learned a lot of lessons and in the learning, so just think about it, we were learning how to do this roof and in learning how to do this roof, we actually became experts in how to do these roofs. We know exactly how to implement the worst case scenario. So we did that and it looks amazing as you can see and now it's Brisbane's most expensive home or soon to be, or if not, by the time you see this, it could be Brisbane's most expensive home. If not, well, it's up there. Some of the challenges that we, we faced in making sure that the details are right. So if you look at the gutters, it has 250 half round gutters on this project. And when you put a curve, uh, uh, you've got a monument mat, color one monument mat, 250 half round gutter with a custom made aluminium bracket that holds that, which is powder coated. So then you've got to go to a powder coating that matches that. And so when we get this, one of the challenges was is which one is going to look best. So we had three different powder coat colors come up and we put them all on the, the guttering to see which one would look the best. The owner was able to choose one and we were able to move forward with that, making sure that the best result was possible. And for such a simple process, that's what we went, that's what we went through and did. But the smallest little detail makes a massive change in the overall picture. So you have to re really, or we had to be really um, specific onto how to do each section. Do you think the clients were satisfied? Well, they weren't satisfied with how long it took us to get the job done. I've never had the customer to come back and let me know how happy they are with the job. But this video, this picture, all of the house, the fact that this house is going onto as, as Brisbane's most expensive home, lets me know that our impact and our influence on the project, they're pretty happy with the end result. Basically, you can go the cheaper option. You can go down a path where you can pay less money and hope for the same result. People, people are gonna tell you that they can do it. People are gonna tell you that, you know, when there's this big job on the line, people are gonna tell you that they're amazing and they can do it. There is a chance that they are telling the truth. There's a chance that that could happen, though you're rolling the dice. So it, say you've got, you're wanting to put a standing seam roof on your house on your new build, on your masterpiece, on your next Brisbane's most expensive home, or on your architecturally designed, the house doesn't need to be worth three million, five million, seven million dollars. But if you're scrimping to, on a roofing package or a cladding package, because someone else is cheaper by 10%, then you've got to also be willing to know that the result could be 40% less. And what happens there is that at the end of that, on the flip side of that, that when you go to sell your house, it doesn't have that wow factor. It doesn't have that, that dream, you're like, ah, there's oil can here, the flashings aren't finished off in the same way. Things just aren't done in the way that my cladders could have done them. And this is where my cladders has a point of difference. My cladders are the roofers that installed and designed the roof on 598 London Road. What would have happened if London Road had been completely roofed by the company that was on the that put the roof on the billiard house, what would have happened? I don't know what would have happened, but I don't think it would be up for sale for $20 million. It might only be $19 million. So the $30,000 that was less, the other company, the other company was $30,000 less. Does that result to a million dollars? I don't know. Do you think that, that the roofing package and the way that the roof has been put together makes a difference, makes that much of a difference? I do, what do you think?